This is Jesse from the Helena College Library. I'm going to show you how to cite a journal article in the updated MLA style. When you include information from an outside source in your paper, you must first add an in-text citation to note the source. The in-text citation includes two pieces of information, the author's last name and the page number for the information. Let's look at an example. Here's a direct quote from an article. The citation appears in parentheses at the end of the sentence, after the closing quotation mark and before the period. The first part of the in-text citation is the author's last names. Find them near the title of the article. For three authors, list the first name followed by et al, which is Latin for and others. Next, give the page number on which the information or quote is found. Each of your sources will also be included in your list of works cited at the end of the paper. Your list of works cited provides the full citation for each source with enough information for a reader to find it. You should be able to find all of the information you need on the first page of the article and on the entry in the database for the article. This is usually where you found the link to the PDF file of the article from the library. Let's take a look at a basic citation. Remember to pay careful attention to all punctuation, spacing, and formatting that you see in citation guides. The first part of the citation is the author's names. For an article with three authors, give the first author's name followed by et al. and a period. The first author's name will be given as last name, comma, first name, middle initial, or name. The title of the article is next with a period at the end, all in quotation marks, in title style capitalization. All words except articles, prepositions, and conjunctions are capitalized. Next, type the title of the journal in italics in title style capitalization, followed by a comma. Find the journal title near the top or bottom of the article, just like you'll see it on book pages. The volume and issue numbers are usually found near the journal title or the date of publication. In this example, the article only shows the volume number, so we need to look at the database entry to find the issue number. Type VOL period, followed by the volume number, a comma, then NO period, the issue number, and another comma. Next is the publication date, followed by a comma. Give the month or season and year. It is often located near the journal title, volume, and issue numbers. The page numbers are usually found on the database entry, or you can look at the numbering on the PDF version of the article. These are followed with a period. Next, write the name of the database where you found the article. This is sometimes printed on the article, but you can also look at the database page. For example, this article came from Wiley Online Library. This is in italics and ends with a period. Finally, give the DOI for the article. This stands for Digital Object Identifier and is a unique number assigned to the journal article. You can find this on the database page or on the article near the volume, issue, and date. And this is our complete citation. Remember, your in-text citation will direct the reader to the full citation in your list of works cited, so make sure the names are the same. Your citations will look a little different for each article. Refer to a pocket-style manual or the Purdue OWL website for more guidelines and examples on how to cite a journal article. And don't hesitate to contact your Helena College Library with any questions.